So today in class you guys learned about balancing debt and equity and this graph shows why that's important for a company. Um, the real basics of the graph, you have your x-axis which shows how much leverage a company has which relates to how much debt the company has and the y-axis which shows the price of a stock for that company. Um, the first line you'd want to look at is this blue line which shows the value of that company's stock if there was no leverage added. So this means no matter how much debt a company has, the price would not change because there is no leverage. Next, you want to look at this red line, which shows how much um, value the stock would have if there were no bankruptcy related costs. And what this means is that, um, sorry, uh, what this means is that if you have more stock, the more stock you have, the more at risk your company is or your stock is of going bankrupt. And so as you get more stock, you get more risk and that way more bankruptcy, uh, more bankrupt risk, sorry. Um, and so what this red line just simply shows is if there was no bankruptcy risk, the value would keep going up. So as there's more debt, there's more value to your stock. But that's not really accurate to what really happens. Um, what you need to know also is the difference between this blue line and the red line is the tax shelter benefit and that's why a company would choose to have debt instead of just equity and so if a company has all equity then they make all their money and retain earnings and they have to pay taxes on all of that money but if a company takes in loans and pays back that debt what happens is the money they pay back for the debt is considered an expense and that just um, and that does not have to be um, taken out of taxes or tax is taken out of that. And so that's why a company would want to have this debt. And so um, to have the accurate line of the stock is to look at this green line and you can see as the debt starts to go up and as the value of the stock starts to go up, the, blue, the red line and the green line stay together. But as it keeps going, it crosses this line which is called the threshold of the debt level. And so once you pass that line, the, you have, the company has so much debt that it is now considered a risk. So investors are looking at this and they're like, man, that's a lot of risk. I don't know if I want to invest in that company. And so you can see as more debt is acquired, there's more risk. So more and more investors would be like, no, I don't want to invest in that company, which is why the green line starts to go down. And so what the best thing to do for a company is what you found today, which is that WACC number. If you find the lowest one, that's the perfect balance between debt and equity, which is right here, which that line shows um, the optimal capital structure, uh, which is the best spot to be where you have the balance of debt, so you have the ability to have that tax shelter benefit and still have that equity so you're not at too much of a risk.